Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. It's time for the J. Craig 5, maybe 10 minute movie review. What's going on, Jason Catron? Craig Miller, what's happening, man? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Man, a lot, a lot, a lot, but I'm far more interested in your situation because you just saw the Justice League. Justice League. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I saw it. And I know that you prefer the DC heroes over the Marvel heroes and have been waiting for this for quite some time to see if they pull it off. Craig, that is 100% true. I, I've i always been a DC guy ever since I was a little boy. DC, right? Mm-hmm. It's always been about Flash and Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and Green Lantern. So the just the Super Friends, right? So if anyone sees a J. Yeah, Craig, right. the J. Craig logo, I mean, come on, that's... It's inspired by the Super Friends, right? Yes, so exactly right. The Super Friends exactly. is what I grew up on. When Marvel came out, I was like, okay, cool, but don't care. With this, I really was excited about this because Batman vs. Superman, good, fun, not great. Wonder Woman, awesome. Okay, all this background noise going on about Justice League, all this crazy shenanigans going on with, uh, you know, obviously with uh, uh, the director having to leave, and then Josh Whedon coming in, and then Batman, yeah. is he going to be Batman, is he not going to be Batman, is he leaving Batman, does Superman have a mustache, does Superman not have a mustache, I mean, there's just all this craziness going on, man. Which <laughs> look like crap, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> I, not, to re- not to reinforce anything. Yes. Right, mm-hmm. right. But I, I've been excited, man. So I, I but I, my I tempered expectations, right, because of what happened before. So yeah. right, let me just say this right off the bat, because I just saw the movie just let maybe uh-huh. an hour ago. I got out. Right. I absolutely loved it. That's awesome. I That's had awesome. Such fun, Craig. You're gonna have such fun. It's it's flawed. It's not as flawed as Batman sure. vs Superman. Okay. Okay. Now the step on the. It, it, yeah. it is a step. Now, folks, this is going to be kind of spoiler. I'm going to keep it kind of clean here. But it starts off a little awkward. And I was like, oh. Oh, this isn't. Oh, I hope they shake this off. Okay. Does it start off, it's does just, it start off Avenger, Avengers awkward? Um, kind, Just bad, like, editing flow. You're like, what? What just happened there? What is going on here? Starts off a little uh-huh. shaky. It goes uh-huh. into an intro, which shows kind of like where everyone's at right now. We're not that far removed away from Superman being uh, buried. So they don't uh-huh. tell you a time frame, but not far away from removed. And so then it finally starts to pick up its speed. And mm-hmm. like uh, once once that's over, you're like, okay, we're in the movie. So it has a shaky start. Yeah. It's right, flawed. Right. But I got to tell you, what? why, Craig, you grew up the same time I did, Super Friends. Why do you yes. like that particular comic brand? God, so many reasons. I mean, it's the, it's the camaraderie of the team. It's the, the mix of their different personalities. Bingo. And it's fun. And it's fun. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay, Craig. You just you just explain the, the the whole basis of what the Justice League does. Okay. It is about the characters. The character. The story. Eh. Okay. End of the world. Big things coming down from a portal. Okay. Big strong monsters. I got it. We've been there before. <laughs> but it's the characters. We don't need a lot of intro from these characters. We don't need to know a lot about Cyborg, who's awesome. We don't need to know about, about Aquaman, who's really? awesome. We don't need to know about, about Flash, who's awesome. They are all great characters, and that's what drives this movie. And the well, last thing you just said, it's fun. Well, that's important. That's awesome. Very. But what – so is – well, it's fun in what – can you be a little more specific? Like what – is it just the camaraderie? Is it, is, it, is it the way they interplay and work as a team? Is it the, like, callbacks to things you know about the characters? Like, what makes it so fun, Jason? Okay, so uh, I'll be I'm glad to. And I'm still trying to process it, okay, because I just got out of the theater. So bear with me here. Um, it, it, it's the camaraderie, right? It's the fact that they're just getting to know each other. It's the fact that there's these kind of jabs going back and forth. They don't all trust right. each other just yet. So there's that, you know, there's a little bit of, you know, little, little tiffs going on, little riffs going on. Right. But it's really just about how the characters play with each other and how the characters relate on the screen. Like, Flash's character comes off great and neurotic and, and immature and just excited to be there. Aquaman has this air of dignity to him, but he's just kind of, like, cocky and arrogant about it, but it's very fun. Like, he's just, mm-hmm. he's just got great lines. And then Cyborg, cool. my God, character who I know nothing and care nothing about, and I loved him. He's fantastic because of what a character does. Like his 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 character keeps growing on its own because it, it's what is the, the the mother box gave him life and it keeps okay. manipulating his like it just keeps growing. So he all of a sudden now he can fly. All of a sudden now he can do this. Oh, yeah, it's really well, cool. To have, yeah, but we don't get a whole movie to explain all that. 
like Marvel did, yeah. step by step by little right. step. You get yeah. just excerpts of that, and you get enough of it. And with the strength of Wonder Woman being who she is, the Batman, you know, oh, man, I got to tell you, they, they humanize Batman. You talk about how your, your problem with Batman versus Superman is Batman will get his ass kicked so easily. Well, that's pretty much the mainstay throughout most of the movie is kicking Batman around because he's just the guy. <laughs> It's awesome. It is. It's a lot of fun, man. I I, I highly recommend. I, I mean, I know you can't see it because you're in places unknown, but I, I got to yeah. tell you, when you're able to see it, I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's fun. It's lighthearted while still having that somber, realistic tone to it, right? Uh-huh. It has that to it, but it obviously you can see the Josh Whedon effect. There's a lot more humor. There's a lot more camaraderie, sure. which is needed, and sure. it, they, they, the way they start to play with each other and play with each other as a team and become mm-hmm. the team. And then, y- y- y'all know he's out there, right? Y'all know he's in the movie. This is my next question. Ooh, I'm on pins and needles. Okay. I gotta know. I gotta know. He's in the movie. <sighs> and he's awesome. That's okay? so cool. He's aw- it's, it's fantastic. Folks, go see the Justice League. Don't care. Don't worry about what happened before. Focus on Wonder Woman and what this is going to do now. Because I can't wait to see what they do after this. Nice credit end sequence, yeah. set up being up right. something else happening later on. Um, uh-huh. it, it's it's we, we've all been here, folks. We've all been in this movie before. We've seen it before. But it's the fact that we're seeing all these characters for the first time together on screen, and some of them for the first time ever on screen, and it works. It's fun. Was the audience having a good time? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's okay. several moments where laugh out loud funny where I couldn't, I, I just couldn't stop giggling. A uh, lot of really cool action sequences, and I didn't hate it. I mean, I had really no problems within the first maybe ten minutes, where I was like, "Ew!" But okay, it's good. Because I've read, I've read two things inter- interested me. Is one that uh, it has the best action sequence of any film in the DCU so far. Ooh, okay, my, my that, that that probably the ending sequence, and I would say probably right. Okay, cool, awesome, and that. The, they give us the Batman that you kind of, that you remember from the old Super Friends growing up. You get basically. that, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You you, you get the old Batman, but then, ah, oh God, do I say this? Do I not say this? It just came out. You all know it. If you don't want to hear it, shut the podcast off. Five, four, three, two, one. You get the Superman that you wanted to see. Ah, oh, it's so nice. It's so awesome. You get the <laughs> Superman you want to see, and and Craig, they set it up. With us a little, little thing that happens, and then all of a sudden, I got to realize, boom, he is now Superman, the way we oh, want to see him. So, it's really cool. I, I, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm happy that it was as fun as it was. Uh, I, I'm happy that I didn't hate a lot of it. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> When you're no, like, well, that's just well, weird. That it wasn't painful between the good parts. Yeah. Right, right, right. Come get back to something cool. Right, right. And, you know, you don't have Lex Luthor, so you don't have to worry about the bad villain. You have a, a, a great villain who's just big and bad and all-powerful. Right, right. Um, uh-huh. And they're, not, they're no match for him. So he, he, sure. is, he is like, he's a world stopper, right? But it, it turns okay. out that, um, yeah, it was, it, the wait was, was well worth it. Um, thumbs up by Jay. I, I really enjoyed it. Now we'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how you feel if you see it again next week. Exactly. Well, this is crazy though. Thor, and now we have uh, Justice, Justice League. League. So I have two movies to go see again and again and again now. And now here's the funny part. Okay, Thor just came out, right? And they had the uh-huh. um, everyone. No one can actually see this right now. But um, I went to the, went to the movie with this shirt on, and it's uh, Batman. I love Thor. Yeah, right. With a Led Zeppelin, na 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 na, immigrant song, right? And uh, so that's Thor with Batman mixed together. <laughs> you awesome. follow? You follow? Yeah, I'm with. You. Well, Craig, you. Um, I think that's that's our five minute, ten minute review. Fantastic. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening to the J. Craig 5-Minute Movie Review, which is more like 10 minutes. But, hey. And obviously, the message, the best takeaway is go see Justice League. It's go good. see Justice League. You're going to love it. It's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people are hating on it already, but I really enjoyed it. We'll see how I feel in the morning, everybody. All right. All Later. right, Craig. Peace out. Later.